everybody, it is Salandia Hammond, affectionately known as Sue Ham Baby, and I am so delighted, elated, enthused, excited, happy that you are tapping in to all of this great information. And the great thing about it is it is free. Well, when you really think about it, it's not because you're using your time and time is probably the most important thing there is on this earth because once it's gone, we cannot get it back. So I am excited that you're excited about learning. And so let's, let's get started. Without any further ado, this particular training, this webinar, it's going to teach you different things about Facebook marketing, video marketing, book publishing, and how to write a book. I get so many questions on Facebook, so I wanted to be of service, add some value, and give back. Now, I will be honest with you. This webinar is jam-packed with a lot of free information, but at the end of the webinar, there will be uh, uh, an offer extended to you to see if you want to join me and work with me one-on-one -on -one because I'm telling you, I've got a lot of great things that I can show you and I'm willing and I'm ready and I hope that you're able. So let's get started. Are we ready to rumble? Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. All right, computer. Let's make sure it is ready to rumble with me. I'll tell you, I've been working this thing kind of hard here. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. Yep, that's the next slide. Now, for those of you that do not know me, again, I am Salandia Hammond. Uh, I like to go by Sue Ham. It's a combination of my first and last name because a lot of people would screw up the first name. They would be like Shawanda, Shalanda, you know, all kind of crazy stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let's 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 shorten it up. Let's let's make it Sue Ham, and that's kind of catchy. What throws me off though is when I'm out in the public sometime and people are like Miss Ham, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> Hammond is my last name, but it's funny to hear that. But I want to tell you guys a little bit about me in case you don't know. Uh, a few years ago, I filed for bankruptcy, um, had a few foreclosures, uh, some repossession, lost homes and houses, actually lost the house that I was living in. Um, I I'd made most of my money. Uh, through real estate. Um, I didn't sell homes. What I did was I bought homes. Uh, so I was a real estate investor. I actually bought foreclosed homes and I rehabbed them. Rehabbing meaning I fixed them up and made them decent and livable and I rented out the properties. And I actually was doing pretty good. I had about 16 income producing units. Um, I, I didn't know it at the time, but I actually was in a multi, uh, not a multi-millionaire, but a mi millionaire status. Didn't know it at the time because I was blowing money as soon as it came through my hands, it was leaving. Uh, didn't know anything about maintaining money. I, I, I had learned some tricks to, on how to obtain money, how to make it, but didn't know anything about maintaining it or making it grow. So lo and behold, after a few years, uh, the housing market just crashed and so went all my money because I didn't put anything away for a rainy day. But here's the thing. I'm not here to sit and cry. I do believe that we all go through things for a reason. And that's why I'm here to tell you guys that on the journey, try to enjoy the journey because what you're experiencing is for a reason. It is something that you need to learn. And it is something that is going to help you out later in life. And it is something that you can use to help other people because had I not gone through uh, uh, growing up in a poverty area or uh, going through divorce or going through suicidal tendencies, having those thoughts and losing everything, you know, my father passing away from cancer, um, me finally following my dreams, I wouldn't have this story to share. I wouldn't have had probably the ideas I have now. And as a result of all of that, that tumultuous lifestyle, out of all of that, God raised me up out of the ashes and I was able to author a book. Um, I am now a motivational speaker. I'm an internet marketer. I do affiliate marketing. I'm a blogger. I've, I created my own online uh, 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 radio show as well as it was on FM dials. And I created a TV show and I've written and performed three stage plays. And I'm not egotistical. I'm not telling you this because I'm tooting my own horn. I'm just telling you this because there may be somebody out there listening, watching right now that just feels down in the dumps and just feel like, I, I just don't know where to start. I don't have the money. I don't have the know-how. And that is the purpose of this training is because I want to encourage you to just start where you are. Start with what you have. That's what I had to do. Listen, I went from having it all to having nothing. Okay. 
And when I say all, I mean materialistic things because in the inside, I was still shallow. I was still hurting because the truth of the matter was I wasn't following my dreams and following my dreams is actually doing what I'm doing right now, which is teaching people, enlightening people, entertaining people, making them laugh. I believe in living, learning, loving, and laughing. So we are going to get started. And I know I might be talking a mile a minute. But uh, I I apologize. The great thing is this is recorded. You can go back and uh, play it backwards and maybe you'll understand it. (laughs) And let me let you guys know I am a clown. Okay. I love to have fun. And uh, I encourage you guys to please join me on my Facebook page, which is uh, Suham Biz. S-U-E-H-A-M Biz. Okay. Now, if you didn't know, last night uh, I did a uh, teleconference with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, who is the author of the book, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice, as well as the author of the book, Wealth Choice. He's a Napoleon Hill Foundation trainer. He was summoned by them um, uh, in the 70s or the 80s to write the book, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. And I had the pleasure, the privilege, the honor of interviewing him on last night. And he said that there are seven laws to obtain wealth. I'm not going to go into detail, but I I just wanted to list them for you guys before we actually get into the nit and gritty of this webinar. And the first one is learning. And uh, he said, leaders are readers. Never stop learning. Number two, make a decision. Make a decision to just start from where you are. Believe in yourself, even when the chips are down, even when you're down in the valley, even when people are laughing at you, believe in yourself. Because trust me, it is going to take your belief to get you through those dark days. Find your unique gifts. What are you passionate about? Find out why you were sent here. Do what you were sent here to do. That's something I always love to say. Do what you were sent here to do. Serve someone. Add value. And I'm hoping to add value to you guys with this training. And hopefully, you know, I'll be able to serve you in the future should you decide to work with me. Go into business for yourself. And, and and I'm a firm believer in that. Even if you have to work another job simultaneously until you can get your business off the ground, I really believe that you should go into business for yourself. You should diversify your streams of income. You should have multiple streams of income. And I've always felt like this. And that's why I do so many different things. People are like, Sue, what don't you do? And I'm just like, I don't know. Because uh, if I get an idea in my head, God gives it to me, I'm acting on it, baby. I'm making it happen. I may not have all the resources, but I'm taking the first step and I'm learning. I'm learning on the go or I'm seeking a mentor. And folks, I got to tell you, when you have a mentor, a mentor will save you time, money, headaches, and your hair. Okay, number seven is make thy money grow. Had I known these things, had I made my money grow, I would not have had to file for bankruptcy. I would not have had to move out of my house. But hey, that's water under the bridge. Like I said, things happen in life because that's a part of the destiny. That's a, I'm sorry, that's a part of the journey in order to get to your destiny. So don't let it stop you. All right. And I want to invite you guys, if you want to listen to that call in its entirety, just skip on over to my website and I'll give that, um, that, uh, web address at the end of this training. All right, let's get going. Now, I have so many people inboxing me, Sue, how do I write a book? How do I publish a book? How do I start out? I've got scribbles of notes and I just don't know what to do. Is publishing hard? Well, I published the book with no knowledge. Uh, I just felt that urge to do it. I felt an urge to share my story. I had been saying it for, for a few months and then all of a sudden I just started writing, man. I'm telling you. And, and, and my suggestion to you, if you want to write a book, Here are some tips. Write what you're passionate about. Don't write what you think is going to sell, okay? Don't write what you think is going to make you a lot of money. Write what you're passionate about, what you feel, what you feel with all your heart because your readers, they will know. They will know if it's from your heart. They will know if you are authentic or not. And I did a blog post that said authenticity is the word for eternity. And I'm telling you, it it definitely is. Write the way you speak. That's, that's the second tip. Write the way you speak, okay? Please don't write in the King James Version because I know you're not walking around here every day speaking, he heareth thou and thou cometh forth. You're not doing it, okay? So don't write like that, all right? <laughs> write the way you speak. Write as if you're writing to a friend. 
And one thing I want to do is I want to encourage you to write consistently. Now, as a writer myself, I know sometimes we get writer's block, okay? And sometimes we feel lazy and we don't want to do it. But you've got to be consistent. You've got to get up, force yourself to the table, force yourself to the laptop or to the iPad or to your phone and just start writing. Get yourself in a habit. Do you know that successful people form habits? They form good habits that they practice daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And that's what you have to do. Now, I also urge you to carry a recorder or paper around with you. If you're anything like me, you got thoughts popping in your head all over the place. I mean, they just pop, 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 pop like popcorn, right? <laughs> and, and, and so it's easy if you've got your phone with you and a lot of mobile phones have that option to record. So, I mean, just make a note so record, you know, write down something, you know, or either write it down. Tyler Perry said that that's how he came up with his plays. He had been writing stuff down on pieces of paper, notebook paper, napkins, uh, you know, every time a thought or, or a dialogue came into his mind, he wrote it down. And then at the end of the day, you know, well, you know, that's figuratively speaking, he actually had a play. So that's what I'm encouraging you to do in order to get your book together. Ask for guidance, ask for it to flow. Now I got to tell you when I was, uh, I was, I was summoned, uh, to write a stage play, rehearse for the stage play and, um, get the actors, get the set and everything together with uh, about 30 days for a school. Didn't have the play written, didn't have any of the actors, didn't have anything to do the play. Okay. All I know is that they wanted my services and I wanted to provide them my services. So I actually sat down and I just, I had writer's block. I couldn't get it together. And I said, okay, God, I need you to give me a story and I need you to let it flow. And I'm here to tell you, my friends, I am here to tell you that as soon as I did that, I mean, I was just a writing and a writing and a writing. I was in the back of my, in my, in the back of my house at the time, the house that I had, and I was just a typing on my laptop, just a, da -da 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 just a typing away. And my kids would come in there and I was like, get out, get out. It's flowing. I can't stop. I mean, I didn't eat and I didn't bathe. Yes, I am telling you, I did not eat and I did not bathe. Uh, for two days straight, it just kept coming and flowing. So listen, my friends, if you're having writer's block or you don't know how to start, just ask for guidance. Ask for it to flow, man. And, and while you're writing, don't be concerned about grammatical errors, okay? I want you to just write. We'll go back and correct those errors later. Right now, just just let it just just open the floodgates and just let it all come out on the paper, on the nook, on the Kindle, on the iPad, whatever you're using. And write from your heart, okay? Open up and let it out. People love authenticity. Remember, authenticity is the word for eternity, okay? All right. Now, publishing your book once you all got it written out, right? Now you want to publish it. Now you want to put it out there for the masses to see. Okay. Well, there are three types of publishing I'm going to cover. The first is traditional publishing. Now, traditional publishing costs more. And this is what, uh, made me afraid to, to try to even write my book because I was like, oh man, I don't have 25, $50,000. I'm not a celebrity. How am I going to get a book published? You know, I, I don't know how to get in contact with these agents. I don't know how to get in contact with these publishers. And this is for the birds. This is not going to happen. Right? Well, you know, and most people can't afford that. And, 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 just so you know, the downside of trying to do traditional pu publishing is the chances of it happening are slim to none, unless you're a celebrity, you know, unless you know the right people. And a lot of times too, you can have less creative freedom because they may want you to write your book this way, do it that way. When you have the vision, you know, you may not have total creative control. And of course, when you go to a traditional publisher, you will not, uh, profit a hundred percent. Okay. Now, you may make a lot more money if your book is really good and they're pushing it. it. It just depends. It just depends. So, but again, the chances of, of getting a traditional publisher are slim to none. Now, then there is self-publishing. Okay. Now guys, I want you to stick with me now, because like I said, later on the training, we're going to get into video marketing and we're going to get into Facebook marketing. Okay. So stick with me. We don't have very much to do here with the books. Um, I just want to do this first and then we'll keep it moving. So going back to self publishing, 
Now, with self-publishing, you're responsible for the following. You are responsible basically for everything in a nutshell if you proclaim to be a self-publisher. You know, you are going to have to make sure your books are printed. You're going to have to make sure the books are shipped when somebody orders it. If somebody has a problem with it, you're going to have to handle customer service. You will have to do everything because you are the go-to person, okay? You are the self, get it, self-publisher you're the one handling it of everything. You're the one putting it out there to the masses. The great thing about that is you re retain a hundred percent of the profit, of course, after expenses. The bad thing about that is you're doing everything yourself or either you're hiring people to do it for you. So, uh, you can do that, but it's totally up to you. Now I, I will tell you that I do a little bit of self-publishing and I do this other one called on demand publishing, which we're going to cover next. Now with the self publishing, you know, if you've got a website, you can actually set up your books there and sell it off of your particular website, set up a PayPal account. And, uh, every time somebody buys from you, you can have emails sent to you and say such, such and such bought this book. And now it's on you to either mail that book out to them. If it was a hard copy or to email that book, uh, out to them. Now there are ways you can do that where you can have an auto responder set up. And for those of you that don't know what an auto responder is, that's like an email service system where you've automatically got it set up to when somebody buys a product, it automatically sends it out to them. And if that's something you're interested in, you know, that's something I could actually show you how to do as well. Now with self-publishing, if this is the route you decide you want to go, um, I would suggest that you use a company called 48 hour books. They can get your books out to you in 48 hours and they're pretty inexpensive. I've done a lot of research online and I've, I've used them to print my books because I use self-publishing and I use a different type of publishing, which we will cover. And, uh, whenever I need books for a speaking engagement, if I need them on hand, I just go through 48 hour books and I order them. Now I will include this link in the email that I'm sending you. Um, it is my affiliate link so that if you guys decide to get your books printed through 48 hour books, um, you know, some type of credit would go to me, uh, just for telling you guys all about that. So if you guys want to use 48 hour books, I would love for you to use my link. Okay. All righty. Again, like I said, you, you would need your own personal website. If you want to be a self, a self publisher for you to be able to sell, you would need either a PayPal account or you would need a shopping cart set up on your website and all of that. And if you're just starting out, you're just publishing your book. You probably don't want to get into all of that headache. And I know you're probably saying, Oh my God, Sue, you're discouraging me already. You told me about the traditional publishing. $25,000 to $50,000. Now you're telling me about this self-publishing where I've got to do everything myself. I don't know if I want to write my book now. Well, here's the thing. You are going to write your book. Okay. Because like I told you, I was just like you. I was afraid until I got out there and I started doing the research. Let me tell you, there is nothing worse in the world than to want to do something, but to not have the know-how that sucks. That sucks. That's why I tell people mentors are important. Time is important. It is important. So I went a looking and here's what I found on demand publishing. Now on demand publishing is a lifesaver. <laughs> it's a, it's a lifesaver. It, 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 it basically, if you go with an on-demand publisher, and let me tell you who they are. You've got several on-demand publishers out there. You've got Create Space. You've got uh, people that will do the publishing for your eBooks. You've got, I mean, if you just go out there and do on-demand publishing, you'll get a list of people to come up. Now, the people I use for my book was fastpencil.com. I, I really like them. Um, they were easy to work with. They, they, uh, they have a book formatter. You just, you, you can take your, actually your word document of your book, plug it into their device and voila, it generates your book. It's just that simple. Now here's one of the things I like about fast pencil, which is the on-demand publisher that I use. It's cost effective. I was able to get my first book up and running for less than $25. That's right. You heard me. Did you hear me? $25. I was able to get my book out there for the public to see 
for less than $25. It was easy, didn't require a lot of headache, there's a lot less work. And if I wanted to, I could have paid an additional fee. I think it's uh, $199 to get it distributed on Amazon, Kindle, Barnes and Noble, um, all the other uh, dis distributors out there. And the kicker was, I didn't need a personal website. Did not need a personal website, simply because they would allow me to host my book on their website. But wait a minute, it gets better. Here's what an on-demand publisher will do for you. They will, print and ship your book. So that means that when somebody buys your book, a customer buys your book, whether it's an ebook, which will be emailed to them, or whether it's an, uh, uh, a printed book, which will be physically mailed to them, the on-demand publisher, in this case, Fast Pencil, will take the order, take the money, and then in turn, ship the service, ship, I'm sorry, ship the product. And you don't have to do anything. It's like once you've written your book, once you put your book on the market, they take care of everything for you. You can turn over and go to sleep. You're done. Well, almost. You still got to market the book. You got to let people know it's out there. But I mean, you know, you don't have to worry about customer service. You don't have to worry about complaints. You don't have to worry about shipping the book. You don't have to worry about sending out an email. None of that stuff. And they do all of this for you. And they allow you to maintain 85% of the profit. So what does that mean? If you have a book that's $10, an ebook that you have on the Fast Pencil website for $10, okay? You published it through their site. They will take care of shipping that email out to the customer or if you have a hard copy book, but for the sake of this example, it's an it's a ebook for $10. They will take care of everything. All you need to do is drive the customer to their website to show them where your product is. Much like you're going to JCPenney to buy a shirt, okay? That's all you're doing is driving the customer to the Fast Pencil website to show them that you have a book and it is for sale. The book is $10, okay? The person buys the book, okay? Fast Pencil takes care of all of that. And at the end of the day, you make 85% of that. So what does that mean? The book is $10. Fast Pencil will make, uh, what is that, a dollar and fifty cents, and you will make eight dollars and fifty cents. Woo! Now you, you do the math. Once you've published your book, you're done. Only thing you're required to do is just market. You don't have to worry about anything, and you maintain eighty five percent of the profits okay they are one of the highest paid uh, uh, uh on-demand publishers out there i've checked a lot of people some of them will give you 60 percent. some will give you 70 some will give you 75 but um if memory serves me correctly they paid 80 or 85 percent i know they are one of the highest paid ones out there so you may want to look into that and if that is what you would like to do i do have a course set up that will run you straight through it <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Let me get let me get a drink of water here. I'm talking a, a mile a minute here. <clears throat> but if that's something you're interested in, I do have a course that walks you straight through it. The videos tell you step by step by step on what you need to do. And uh, and then you will become a published author. Okay, and I want to just show you, break away from this real quick, and just show you the website with Fast Pencil. Uh, like I said, I have my book there and I want to show you what their website looks like. <clears throat> and there it is. Um, as you can see, it's got uh, my book here. Um, it gives you the book preview. Like uh, you can go down here and, and read about the book. So whatever you guys want to write about the book, uh, you know, uh, that's what you want to do. It shows like the first chapter and here it's showing my title page, um, published by fast pencil, the on demand publisher, uh, it was copywritten published in 2012, basically the legal standpoint saying that you can't copy this book or, you know, plagiarism and all that stuff. And I just want to show you, it's just like on Amazon. It gives you a preview. This is where I dedicated my book. I wanted to thank people, um, trying to get down here. Let's see, let's move this a little faster. And as you can see, it goes into the chapters. 
uh, it's just giving you that's the first chapter just giving you a little bit of the book so you can preview it and decide if you want to buy the book and and this is all on fast pencil you have the option of uh, buying a hardcover which is $17.99 uh, paperback PDF download and all that good stuff. Now, if I wanted to buy a hardcover right here, I would just go to buy now and I would be able to buy the book. And here's the thing. Once I publish that book, I'm done. I'm done. That website is there. I'm done. All I have to do is just tell people where to go to buy this book and fast pencil pays out royalties, royalties, meaning the money that you make off the book after they've taken their share, they pay it out every three months. Okay. So you could be getting a check in the mail or in your direct deposit or in your bank account every three months if you're selling books all right and like i said and then it gives you the option of sharing stuff on facebook and twitter you can email it um all this good stuff so it, it's like a store already set up for you and uh, all you got to do is drive the traffic there so i just wanted to show you guys that and show you what that looks like now let's go back to my powerpoint Okay, and let's go back to the. So for all you people out there that want to write a book, I've given you tips on how to write the book and I've given you uh, what I uh, know as far as publishers, which are traditional publishers, self publishers and on demand publishers. And once you like I said, if you're just starting out, I recommend the uh, on demand publisher, uh, specifically Fast Pencil. That's who I published with. Um, and once you get going there and you're generating revenue and you want to make your own website, then you can do that. And then you can go on and start selling your books from there too. Um, because I do that as well. Um, I, like I said, I will provide you guys with a, uh, link for fast pencil. And if you would use that link, I would appreciate it because I would get some credit. It is my affiliate link. Um, one of the things I do love about fast pencil is like I said, you can become a published author for less than $25. Um, and if you want to get published and get wide distribution on Amazon, Kindle, iBook, Barnes and Nobles, etc., etc., get an ISBN number, all of that, you can get all of that done for $299. But if you're just starting out, you can do everything for less than $25. Okay. Now, oh, also I want to tell you, you know, you're like, well, how do I get a cover for my book? Well, there's this great website called Fiverr.com. It's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And you can get websites done. You can get all kinds of great things made there. Um, you can get books, uh, book covers. You can get flyers, all kinds of great stuff. So I am telling you, you can get this book published. For le I, I will t just set a budget of $50. You can get it published for less than $50. Fast Pencil is only going to charge you about $25. But you'll probably, uh, you'll have to copyright it for $35. And uh, you, if you need somebody to make you a cover, that's another 5 bucks. Okay? Now, moving on. You're an author. So what's next? Okay? You got your book out there. That's great. You got it on Fast Pencil's website. Oh, that's just, woo, I'm happy for you. But what's next? Okay, you got to market, you got to advertise because what good is a product if it is not available to people because they don't know about it? It is no good, no good, no good, no good. As an author, I want you to know that you can't stop with just advertisement. You've got to put yourself out there, write blogs, do articles. You got to set up book signings, get in the book, get your book in the libraries. I had a lady just in a uh, uh, comment on Facebook yesterday. She said, hey, Sue, by the way, I read your book in the library and it's a really, really great book. Ta da get your book in the libraries how do you do that i can teach you that how do you set up book signings i can teach you that you know just becoming an author it shouldn't stop with you there you should be able to conduct seminars seminars bring in huge money uh, whatever your topic is about you can conduct a seminar on that particular topic it could be on domestic abuse okay now you can go out there and conduct a seminar you can uh, solicit churches, you can solicit organizations, or you can set up your own seminar and just say, hey, I'm having this seminar, it's on domestic abuse, and boom, invite people out. You can do it for free, or you can charge people. It's entirely up to you. Launch a radio show, get yourself out there, let more people know about you, become a speaker, a lecturer. Do you know that there are speakers that are charging upwards of $30,000 to $450,000 for a speech? That is correct. 
You can create online videos like what I'm doing right now and teach people on your expertise. I mean, the sky is the limit. Once you become an author, you are considered an expert. And once you are considered an expert on something, it's easier to get on TV. It's easier to get on radio. People will follow your blogs. People will be in tune to you on Facebook. And then that opens up the door for you to share your message, to add value, to be of service and to make money. Okay. Now, if you're interested in that, then keep on going with me. We got a lot more to give you transitioning over to marketing with video and, and authors. I want you to know you need to do this. I'm an author. And if you Google me, you're going to see a bunch of videos of me out there on Google. You'll find me on you Yahoo too. You'll find me on YouTube. I'm out there. I'm doing video. Why am I doing this? Well, because YouTube has over 1 billion active users. Mm. Did you hear me? 1 billion active users. Not only that, Video works for you while you're sleeping. See, if you if you notice, I'm trying to give you things to do that while you're sleeping. You know what I'm saying? That it, it's called you know uh, passive income while you're sleeping. You get your books out there on the website. They're making money for you while you're sleeping. You get your uh, videos out there and you drive people to your websites or you drive people and let them know about your products. You build traffic and traffic. Uh, equals conversions. What does conversion mean, Sue? It means someone bought the product. See, it's all great and dandy to have traffic. Traffic meaning people coming and looking at your product and looking at your service. It's kind of like window shopping, okay? It's all great to have traffic, but you want conversions too. You want them to buy the product, buy the service. Okay, videos can do that for you. Videos help you build relationships. How is that so, Sue? It's so because your personality comes out in video. People get to put a face with the with the brand. People get to put a face with the product. People get to put a face with the service. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for authenticity. They're looking for relationships and they're looking to build with you. They're looking for credibility. They want to be able to trust you. They want to see you. They want to know that, 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 that you are touchable. Okay. Gone are the days where people, uh, 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 want a distant relationship from the people they're buying from when they buy from somebody. That's why people buy from a brand. It's because they've already, that brand has already established that credibility and they've already established that trust. Okay. And people buy into trust, brand, credibility, and authenticity and relationships. So that's why marketing with video is the thing to do when you're sleeping in your bed at night, someone could be on YouTube calling up your video and you could say, Hey, now make sure you get on over here and register for these free tips. And next thing you know, you've got their email. Now that you have their email, you're able to send them emails and say, Hey, thanks for uh, registering for these free tips. Here are these free tips. Now, by the way, did you know that I have this right here? Check this out. I think it'll help you as well. And so you're able to provide even more value and provide even more service all because of video, all because you built, you're building that relationship, all because you're establishing credibility and all because you're giving a call to action. Now, what makes a good video? Hands down, hands down, the answer is content. You can't just be putting any kind of mumble jumble jumpy crap up in there, man. Come on, man. Don't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? You've got to give the people what they want. You will hear this word throughout the course of this training. You've got to be authentic and you've got to build relationships and you've got to get into their mindset and try to think for them, try to, to see the future, to know what they want, give great content. Now I've been on so many trainings and so many webinars and people show all these pictures of their families and all of this and all of that. And I know why they're doing it. They're trying to build a rapport with you and let you into their world because at the end they're going to sell you something. Well, here's the thing about me. I was straight up from the giddy up. I told you, uh, my life, what happened, you know, in, 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 a, in a fast version. 
in the 30 second version. Okay. Not the TV, not the, not the made for TV version. I did the 30 second commercial version. And then I also told you that at the end of this training, there will be an offer, you know, that I would love to extend to you, but it's up to you to take it. Either way it goes, I'm still going to provide you with valuable content because I realize that your time is important. And I realize that you trusted me by giving me your email address to provide you this content. So I am, I will not waste your time. I will provide you everything that I promised you and more. So create valuable content, give a call to action. What's a call to action. That's when you tell somebody, Hey, subscribe to my video or Hey, if you want more tips, leave your email below and uh, we'll send you some more tips or Hey, if you want to learn more about the product, head on over to www.suham.com S U E H A M.com. But whatever you do, don't ramble and always allude to what's coming next. If you notice early on in this training, I told you guys, stay tight. Don't move away from me. We're talking about books right now and online courses, but hold on. We're coming up with the video marketing and the Facebook marketing, and you don't want to miss this. So I was alluding to what was coming next. You always want to do that. You want to tease them in the videos. And one of the most important things you need to answer a question when you are doing a video, you want to answer a question of how do I market, you know? So when you start that video, your video should be, Hey, this is how you market to such and such to get such and such and such, or how do I publish a book? So when you do that video, your video should be, this is how you publish a book. There are three publishers, traditional publishers, self publishers, and on demand publishers answer a question, answer the concerns of your viewers. They're the ones that are important. They're the ones that you're trying to connect with. They're the ones that you're trying to build that trust and add that value with. Okay. So these are great, great, great tips. And uh, remember authenticity and building relationships. Okay, Sue. Okay. Okay. I got it. 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 But listen, I don't have $5,000 worth of camera equipment to do these pretty videos. I don't have the pretty background or the green screen. Um, I don't have a lot of nice looking clothes to put on in the videos. If you will go and look at the videos that I have done, I am encouraging you after this training to go over to youtube.com forward slash Suham 1974 S U E H A M 1974. And I want you to look at the videos that I have done. My videos have been just videos of me being real. Okay. Being real. People want to see the real you. Some have been done in a car. Some have been done in a truck. Some have been done outside. Some have been done inside my house. Most have been done at a restaurant, um, or wherever. And here's the thing. When you're out and about away from your home, if you're out searching for a car, if you're out traveling the world, if you're at the beach, if you're at a restaurant, that's a great place to do a video or to take a picture because then you can post it on your social media pages and tell people, Hey, I'm enjoying this freedom. This is what I'm out here doing because you know, I do photography and because my photography business does so well, I'm able to enjoy my freedom and go out and eat lunch every day or dictate my schedule. If you would like to be a part of this, if, if you have a love and a passion for photography and you need someone to show you the ropes, then Hey, contact me at such and such and such and such. This is called attraction marketing. You're showing people what you're doing. You're showing them the life that you live and probably probably the life that they want to live and you're being real about it. You're not being phony. You're inviting people in with this attraction marketing and with this video. So no, you don't need $5,000 worth of equipment. You don't need a green screen. You don't need a studio. You don't need thousand dollar microphones. If you've got an iPhone or any mobile phone, any droid phone, you've got all you need. If you've got an iPad, You've got all you need. If you've got a laptop with a webcam, you have everything you need. I will tell you that 90% of my videos are shot with the mobile phone and the iPad. That's it. The mobile phone and iPad. Actually the last three, four, probably six videos I have shot have all been done with my iPad. So no excuses. You can do this. And here's the thing. 
you have the, you, there are so many different apps that you can upload to go ahead and just send those videos straight to Facebook, straight, straight to YouTube, straight to Instagram, do whatever, get yourself out there, flood the gates. If you want to be everywhere at once at the same dang on time, it's called the internet. Okay. Use it for what it's worth. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. YouTube free, Facebook free, Twitter free, Instagram free. Take advantage people. Stop going on there and hunting news or trying to see what, who's wearing the latest fashion. If you've got a business or you're trying to get a business out there, or you've got products and services, you got a message you want to put out there, then use these free platforms while you can. And there's no better way to do it than through video marketing. Okay. Now I kind of much, I pretty much already just, uh, covered this, but you know, doing video, it helps you by building your credibility and it increases engagement. People like to watch things. People like to go to the movies. People like to watch videos. Okay. People. And not only that, people will recognize you. I go out all the time and I'm telling you somebody be like, Hey, Sue Ham. And I'm like, okay. And then I'll turn it around and somebody be like, Sue Ham, baby. And I'm like, Oh my God, I don't even know these people. But the thing is I'm out there. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Google, I'm on my blog site, I'm on my own website. I'm on pretty much, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on StumbleUpon. I'm out there, I'm making, I'm putting myself out there at the same time utilizing the internet. And it's my voice when I'm asleep. My videos speak for me. My blogs, they speak for me. My websites, they speak for me. My books, they speak for me. These are things that you need if you want to be successful. All right. Now, when you're doing a video, I want you to talk to people as if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay. I want you to say, Hey, I know you see you, you can be singular or plural, but most people take it as singular. So when you're talking, I want you to look in that camera and I want you to really look at that person as if you're talking to the person of your life, like they're the only one that matters because they are, because if it, it, it Again, authenticity and building relationships, okay? Key, 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 paramount, significant, okay? Imperative. So talk into that camera with the one-on-one -on -one interaction. Like you're looking at that person, you're out there to help that person because you are. Like when I get a microphone in my hand, me and the mic, we become one. You understand what I'm saying? We, be, we gel. It's, it's like a baby with an umbilical cord attached to me. We're one. Be yourself. Authenticity is what? The word for eternity. And when you're doing these videos, give, 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 and give some more. Give these free tips, okay? People want to see what you have to offer. They want to know that they can trust you. And I'm not saying give everything away free because we've got vultures out there, okay? We've got some moochers. We've got some, we've got plenty of leech out there that just want to suck you dry, okay? Don't give it all away for free because I'm a firm believer that your gift will make room for you, okay? So you should be compensated. How you're compensated compensated that depends on you you know for me sometimes compensation comes for me swapping out services sometimes it comes from just the mere satisfaction of knowing i help somebody and most times it's going to come in the form of a dollar because this is my livelihood and here's the thing we 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 are trading i i, I am providing a service and, and you are providing me with monetary funds. So don't feel guilty about that, okay? Now, here's some technical tips I'd like to give you. When you're doing these videos, I want you to use catchy titles, okay? Um, something that's going to make somebody stop, drop, and look, okay? And a lot of times, the best titles are ones that answer questions or ask a question like, how to download a video, you know, or... Um, how to record a video on Instagram. You know, those are things that people might be searching for and want to know. And once you become the expert in your field with providing how to videos, people are going to start subscribing to you and they're going to start coming to you because they trust you and they're going to want more from you. And at that time you're building your relationships. And at that time you can say, well, Hey, if you like that tip, why don't you check out this product right here? It'll definitely solve a lot of your problems. Okay. So that, that, those are just some great things for you to do. And don't forget, 
when you're doing these videos to make sure you give a call to action, to make sure you tell somebody to, to subscribe to your YouTube page, or you might be doing the videos and uploading them straight to Facebook. You may want to tell them, hey, become a fan of mine on my fan page. You know, or you may have a website. Hey, well, make sure you join me on my website or go to my blog site. Subscribe to that. You want to make sure you're directing them. They need for you to direct the traffic as if you're a police officer, okay? So you want to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. You want to provide great content. You want to be authentic and you want to use catchy titles and you want to tell them what you need them to do for you, okay? So thus far we have covered how to write a book, how to publish a book, how to get your books printed through 48 hour books, how to, you know, uh, make money in your sleep, how to do video marketing. Um, one other thing I want to say about video marketing before we go to Facebook marketing, when you're doing a video on YouTube, it is imperative. It is imperative if you want to get ranked that you use certain keywords that Google has that will rank you higher. Now, that is one of the things that I will teach you in my course um, is how to get SEO optimization. But you can also do things like this. When you're doing the title, use a title that is catchy. Like I said, ask a question. But it's also very important that whatever your title is, when you're making this video, you say this title at least three to four times in your video. Like, uh, let's just say I did a, a video that says engage customers. And during that video, I, I, I repeat it. This is how you engage customers. You want to do this, this, and this, and this. And I carried on for about a minute, two minutes. And then I went back to now my second tip on how to engage customers. So you get the gist of it. You want to tie in your title of the video into the meat of the video, say it at least three to four times. And then also with these videos uh, on YouTube, uh, where it allows you to do a description, make sure you're putting out a great description of what this video is about. And here again, you want to use your keywords and you want to use your title again. So if I'm using how to engage customers, when I'm filling out my description of this video in YouTube, I want to make sure that I've got all that in there, you know, engaging customers, putting that in there at least two or three times. And the reason for this is because YouTube does a transcript of these videos and it's going to pick up those keywords and it's going to rate your video higher, which will push it out to more people. Okay. You also want people to like your video and comment that pushes it up higher as well and gets it to be seen. So like if somebody was to Google a keyword, engage customers, um, they would be able to see your video a lot quicker because you've ranked it for SEO, uh, optimization. So the, so the search engines can find it. You've got likes on it and you've got comments, which lets uh, YouTube, lets Facebook, lets wherever Google lets them know, okay, this, this, this has valuable content. So we're going to, um, we're going to push this to the top. Okay. Now we are going to cover Facebook marketing. Everybody's on Facebook. I know you are. And if you aren't, you better get up and get on it because you're leaving clients on, uh, you're just leaving clients outside of the house. Okay. You need to get on it. And at this part of the training, what I'm going to do, I already had a video recorded. So what I want to do is, uh, show you this video, uh, that will tell you a little bit more about Facebook training. Always say, what good is having a product if no one a product or a service, if no one knows about it, it's like the best kept secret. And who wants the best kept secret? We want to make money. We want to better the world. We want to add value and be of service. So we need to advertise and market. Personally, I can't think of a much better place than Facebook. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, oh my God, Facebook, oh, get out of here. But I am here to tell you that if you are not on Facebook, you need to be on Facebook. And here are some reasons why. Reasons why you need to be on Facebook is because you have to be on Facebook if you plan to advertise on Facebook. <laughs> That's a little no brainer there, right? And listen, if you don't want a friends page, you don't have to create a friends page, create a fan page. And a fan page is like your web page. It's you advertising your business and or services to the world. And so you don't have to have you know, the, 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 the friend page, if you don't want it, well, I think you still have to create a personal account, but the biggest thing is you need to create a fan page. Now, here's the thing. 
Facebook has over 1 billion users logged in that have signed up with Facebook. Are you getting this? Now, there are over 7 billion people in the world. And Facebook, this particular social media platform, has over 1 billion users. And out of those users, 665 million of them log in daily. Are you list? So look at the potential marketplace that you can capture just by being a part of Facebook. And I don't know of anything, any other medium, any other platform right now that will allow you to advertise for just pennies a day. Now, if you don't want to pay for advertisement on Facebook, of course, you can sit out there and post uh, your services or your products, your books on a daily basis and say, hey, go get this book, pick it up here at blah, 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 blah. Or you can set up Facebook account, Facebook ad accounts. And the great thing about this is they will allow you to advertise on Facebook for a minimum of 100 pennies a day. That's right, a dollar a day, which equates to uh, $30 over 30 days. I mean, I like I said, I don't know of any place that you can go and get effective marketing for that small of a price. And the great thing about Facebook ads is that you can target your audience. That's right. If you if your product, your book happens to appeal to uh, uh, divorced people, then you can set it up on Facebook to get people that are divorced uh, or to people who have only gone to college. You can target your ad to just hit people who've gone to college or let's just say you only want people in Africa to see your ad. You can set it up and target it that way on Facebook. So if you do not have a Facebook account, go ahead and hit pause in this video and go sign up right now. You are losing a lot of potential customers by not being on Facebook. I cannot stress that enough. You are losing a lot of potential customers by not being on Facebook. But not only that, Facebook helps you to brand your services and your products. It helps you to get it out there to market. Maybe you don't want to sell. Maybe you just want to market and let people know, hey, I'm here. This is who I am. Well, get on Facebook. I mean, this is a free platform that allows you to post as many times a day as you want for free about your business, your products, or your services. And then, of course, there are the Facebook ads. And uh, like I said, you can advertise for as little as $1 a day. And I am going to show you how to do that. And here's something I pulled up over the web. And it says that Facebook has one, you know, plus billion people on there. And that, that was as of October 2012, so I'm pretty sure um, there's way more on there as of right now. And if you look down the list, you know, Instagram is, is climbing. They're, they're last on the list. Um, if we look at Google, because a lot of people place ads on Google, uh, they've got 500 plus million. But here's the thing, Google costs a whole lot more to advertise on Google. So would you want... To spend more money advertising on a platform that has a lot less people? Or would you want to be a part of Facebook that has double the people on Google and costs less to advertise? And with mobile phones, Facebook is just becoming a, a, an even more advertising platform for you to get out there on. Okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, hopefully get you going here. Um with advertising. Now I wanted to show you an ad that I have running right now. And I just started this ad like a couple of days ago and it is to advertise my book. And if you'll look, you'll see here, I um, I have a fan page, which is Sue Ham, and I did a post and it's for a limited time only. You can get my book on Amazon for $2.99. Now if you'll look here, you'll see that the ad targets two point eight million people. I was able to target those people myself. I wanted people that lived in uh, the United States and Australia to see my ad. Now, how does Facebook target people? Well, when you sign up for your account, you uh, annotate, you know, if you're single, if you have college, your age, where you live, um, what hobbies you're into, things that you like, your interests and whatnot. And that profile allows Facebook to be able to 
uh, set it up to where if I want to run a Facebook ad, I can now target people based on their user profiles, which you put in there. Facebook will say, okay, da, 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 da. okay, she wants to target people that's in the United States, people that are between the ages of 25 and 58. And people who like the laws of success, and you know, people who have, uh, who like Tony Robbins, uh, who are into entrepreneurship, uh, Napoleon Hill, and so on and so on. And based upon that, based upon those criteria that I wanted, you know, I'm targeting 2.8 million people. Now, so far, <clears throat> I just increased this ad to $2 today. Initially, it was a dollar a day. Um, you can set this for daily. As you can see, $2 per day, or you can do a lifetime budget, which means after I spend my $2 today, that would terminate the ad. And again, it says the minimum that you can spend is $1 a day. Um, so far, since I have been running this ad, which it started, June, duration, it started June 2nd, and it's ongoing, it has reached almost 2,700 people. Now, this ad has reached almost 2,700 people, and I've only spent $2.75, okay? Since this ad has been running, 25 people have actually clicked this link, and 13 have actually gone to the Amazon website. Now, um, from that 13, I can check a report on Amazon to see how many have actually purchased books, but I haven't done that yet. But I just wanted to show you how effective this is. For less than $3, I've had 25 clicks of people who are interested in seeing what's going on. And it does two things. It brings them to my fan page so they can either look at my fan page and see if they like what I'm saying on there and like the fan page and become a member of it. And also, if they like what I have to say about my book, they can go ahead and click the Amazon link here. And go ahead and check it out even more so in depth and hopefully buy a book for $2.99. And as you notice, I said limited time only. Wording is very important uh, because when you give people like a deadline, then they feel the urge to rush. So you want to say limited time only or you want to say an exclusive offer. You don't want to say cheap. You don't want to say uh, 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 frugal. You don't want to say low price. You want to use exclusive words like exclusive or for a limited time only, give them a deadline and let them know they're feeling special because this price is going to skyrocket. Now, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview. I will go in and show you actually how to set up your Facebook ad. And again, just from running this ad, I've had uh, 20 actions. 13 people have actually clicked the link and actually seven people have liked the uh, page post. Now, that's significant as well. Because when people like your page post, what happens is your particular ad now shows up in their friends' news feeds, okay? Other people get to see your ad, so it's exposing you to a whole new audience, which is a great thing. Now, if you wanted to create an ad, you would simply, um, if you're on your Facebook page, you would simply go to create an ad. <clears throat> you simply go to create an ad. And as you can see, I have several different uh, pages that I manage here, Suham being my personal. Uh, let's just say that you had a website you wanted to promote. You could actually promote a website. However, I recommend creating a fan page. This is what I recommend, creating a fan page, which would be like one of these, and then allowing that to be a destination. So first step is to create a fan page, okay? Nod your head and say yes. Go ahead and do that. Now, once you've created your fan page, what you want to do, like I said, is go and create an, an ad, and then you would click on your fan page. And as you can see, it will bring up three different options. Now, me personally, I am not in the business to get more page likes. Um, I've seen people with only a thousand page likes and they're making like $50,000 a month um, off of running Facebook ads, selling their services and products. Um, me personally, I have about 4,000 people on my fan page and 
I'm not really interested in getting more page likes. I am interested in selling my products and my services. And with that being the case, I will always recommend that you guys use the advanced options, options number three, which is C advanced options. And what you will do is you'll click here and then you will come down here. Now what Facebook does is every time you comment on your fan page, it actually keeps those comments here. And so if you don't want to type something up again, you know, you can just click here and say, okay, well, I kind of like when I, I wrote that. Uh, maybe I'll promote that, you know, um, like here. A few days ago, I wrote this. While you have the privilege of life, you should make every moment count. Make it matter. Sue Ham. And I could promote that. And that would be an ad on Facebook. Now, am I selling anything with this? No. Basically, I'm just putting out some good words, um, you know, hopefully opening up people's minds, making them think. But also at the same time, it's making people aware of who I am, because they'll probably say, huh, I kind of like that quote. Let's see who she is. And at the same time, I could probably get a Facebook like, you know, I might have a new member join my page. And if they continue to scroll my page, they may buy my product. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are selling products, right? So that's all you would do. You would click here. Let's find the one where I did with my book so we can bring that up. Mm hmm. see if I don't see it I am going to just go back oh there it is so here it is right here that's a post that I actually did on my page and like I said whenever you're making posts on your page if you know that there's something on your page you want to go ahead and promote you don't have to type the post over you can just go here and it brings it up and there it is for a limited time get my book on Amazon for only $2.99 and here is the link that they can click and uh, it will take them to Amazon. Now, this is how the ad will look on the page. This is how when you're in Facebook or someone's in Facebook, they will see this particular ad and this is what will draw them in. So it's very important that your picture catches people. Um, a lot of I've seen people do some crazy pictures. I've seen pictures of pigs. I've seen uh, pictures of babies, pictures of um um, adults, uh, cartoon characters. This is where you have to experiment and see what catches people's attention more so. Okay. Now, so we want to go ahead and use this particular one. Now we want to go ahead and go down. Okay. Now here's where you get to target your audience. Okay. You get to choose which country you want to use if you want to go head out to Australia if you want to do Austria I don't know Africa I'm doing all the A's huh <laughs> uh, let's see here how about Canada you, you know you get my gist you can put in whomever uh, wherever you want or if you just wanted to do just South Carolina, if you just want to do states, you can do that as well. You might be a local business um, and you may not want to advertise all over the world. You may have a brick and mortar storefront and uh, you may be based in North Carolina and you may only want to advertise in North Carolina. However, this is for the sake of getting your books out. So we are advertising globally. Now, as you can see, if I were to leave this ad the way it currently is, this ad would target 196 million people, okay? People that live in the United States, Australia, Austria, South Africa, and or Canada. And that's, you know, people that have signed up for Facebook and they have listed that they live in all these places. Now, let's go down to the next area where it says age. And I want you to keep your keep your eyes on this right here, the 196 million, because it will change as we uh, target more so. Now, let's go ahead and just get rid of these. Um, we'll just stick with the United States, okay? <clears throat> and see how it took it back down to 158 million. And this is where if you just wanted to do, uh, again, a certain state, you can do that, or a certain zip code or a certain city. But we were doing country, okay? Now, age. 
usually I target between 25 um, to 64 for people that read books. That's what I normally do. You will have to do trial and error and see who's more so into your books. You know who your um, market is for. I don't know what your book is about. So you know who your book will appeal to. And so with that being the case, then you will determine what age group you want to use. Now, when it comes to gender, do you want to market to just men or women? You may have a diet, a weight loss book that is for women. And if that's the case, you wouldn't want to market to all. You'd want to market just to women. Okay. Or you, you may have an inspiration motivational book that is for everyone. So in that case, you want to market to all. And like I said, keep your eye on this figure here. Uh, right now, it's at $132 million for marketing to people in the United States between the ages of 25 and 64, both men and women. However, if we wanted to just market to women, it decreases to $74 million. Okay? So, um, we'll keep it with all. Um, and it's up to you. You have to decide. Now, right here, when it comes to broad categories and precise interests, here you can decide uh, where your book falls into, be it travel, sports, retail, shopping, uh, business, technology, cooking, what have you, and you can click it. I do not suggest you do that because it's pretty broad, like it said. If you're spending your money, wouldn't you want to control where your ads are seen? This is, this is your advertising budget. You want to put your ads in front of people that are actually going to buy your products and services. So we would want to use precise interest. So uh, let's just say you have a uh, inspirational book. Wouldn't you think that people who are an inspirational success book about entrepreneurs, wouldn't you think that people who are watching, uh, who are reading Forbes, would they uh, be interested in that? So here's where you have to use your imagination, where you have to uh, think outside of the box. Think about where your market is, okay? If you have an inspirational business book, okay, who on Facebook, what are their interests? What are they going to be into? Somebody who's reading Forbes will probably find my book interesting, okay? Uh, somebody who is reading the Wall Street Journal may find my book interesting. So we would click there. Somebody, and remember, it's an inspirational, motivational book. Maybe somebody who's into Tony Robbins. Maybe they'll like it. You know? And, and, and um, let's see, uh, Think and Grow Rich. You know, it's a very popular uh, book. And as you can see now, based upon what we've targeted, people who live in the United States, between the ages of 25 and 64, people who like Forbes, Tony Robbins, Wall Street Journal, and Think and Grow Rich, we are now targeting 2.2 million people. So that's who you're putting your ad in front of, 2.2 million people. Okay, and I want to go back up to the top. I want to show you one thing. Another reason why we want to pick this post here is because not only will your ad show, let me show you something here. You see how ads are on the side here? All the ads. These are Facebook ads. This is this is what I'm showing you how to set up. Okay. These are the ads on the side. If okay. So when you click this option, not only will your ads show up on the sides, but because you are doing uh news feed stories, your ads will show up in here. Uh, and I'm glad I happened to pull this up because it shows here. Like this particular ad here. Notice how it says sponsored. This is my news feed. This is what I'm seeing. You know, my friends as well as people who have bought ads, they're showing up. Me personally, I am more prone to look at what's in this area more so than this area. And see, some, there are some people here who have bought ads. And because they bought ads, it's now showing up in my news feed. That's what this is called, this area here. It's called my news feed. And as you can see, UPS has bought an ad. Anytime it says sponsored, that means that someone has, you know, they purchased an ad, Facebook ad, which is what I'm showing you how to set up right now. 
and it's showing up in my newsfeed. Now, why is this showing up on newsfeed? One or two reasons. Either I have selected that I'm interested in something with UPS or two, one of my friends happened to like UPS. And as a result, because I'm friends with them, now it's showing up in my news feed. So you see how that works? So it's imperative that you always select the see advanced options and you want to show your news feed. You want to make sure it's showing in your news feed, okay? So let's go on back down here. I just wanted to show you guys that. And I think for um, example's sake, I think we'll go with the 2.2 million and we'll go on down. Now, here's the thing, connections. Who do you want to see this ad? Do you only want people that are connected to your fan page to see it or people who are not connected to your fan page? Well, I definitely want everyone to see it. If you have people that are on your fan page, they are already in tune to what you're doing. So why wouldn't you want them to see it? So we want to say to everyone. However, if for some reason you don't want the people on your fan page to see it, you can just go there and, and take them off. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you right here, what says new campaign name, you can call this whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, personally, I say name it something that you're going to remember. Like, um, since this one is to sell um, books, I would call it, you know, books or selling Suham book or something like that. Just something that you can remember what the name of the campaign is so that when you're monitoring, you know what you're looking at. Campaign budget. Again, I told you, you can set your campaign for as small as $1 a day. So if you're just starting out, you can just start out $1 a day just to see how your ads are going to do. And, um, you know, or you can do a lifetime budget. If you just want to do one day, you know, <laughs> like I said, you can just do um, $1 and uh, there it is. It starts today at 1.36 p.m. and it'll end tomorrow at 1.36 p.m. and I'm only going to spend a dollar. I don't recommend doing that unless you're just testing it out. And the reason why I say that is because uh, you'd have to restart the ad. Um, I would basically go ahead and do it per day because at any time you want to you want to pause your ad, you can do that and I will show you how to do that. Now, so, like I said, you can start it for as small as $1, and I would do it per day. And, again, let's change this to Sue Ham's Don't Quit Book Ad. Okay. Now, when it comes down to optimization, most of you probably don't have a website. If you have a website, there's a way that you can track it on your website to see if people are actually buying. But for those, if you don't have a website, don't even worry about it. You can still run your ads and still make money. That was the purpose of publishing your book through Fast Pencil. For those of you that don't have a website or publishing your book through Amazon, those websites sell your products for you so that you can stand back, have hands off, and just relax, just collect the revenue. So... Uh, what you will do is it's going down to optimization. Now, what we want to always do is we want to optimize for clicks. And what that means is you will only pay for someone uh, who actually clicks on your ad. So that means that your ad could show in someone's news feed all day long. Like this could be in my news feed all day long, but UPS will not be charged until I actually click and like like their page then they are charged for that okay so i just want to show you guys that so we want to do bid for clicks otherwise if we do optimize for impressions then what that means is as long as it's showing up that's an impression that's an impression if you see it that's an impression and you are going to be charged for it we don't want that it can show up all day long but what we want to do is you know it's kind of like window shop and it's out there it's enticing we want to get them to click it okay now so what we'll do we'll optimize my budget to get more clicks we want to manually bid for the clicks we want to tell facebook how much we're going to pay now cpc is cost per click what that means is uh this is what it costs you every time someone clicks on your ad remember we're only spending a dollar a day 
So roughly we can only get about three clicks per day if we're going at 29 cents. Now, Facebook is always going to recommend, you know, they're going to always have this pre-filled because of course they want to try to get the most amount of money out of you that they can. But what I suggest is whatever number of Facebook has here, you go and you divide it by half. So that was what, 29 cents, which is rounded up to 30 cents. I would actually put in uh, maybe 10 cents or 15 cents. Now I said half, but sometimes I'll go a little lower, uh, 15 cents or 10 cents. So we'll, we'll just do 15, okay? And now we want to review the ad, all right? Okay, so here it is. Here's the ad. This is how it's going to look on the sidebar, the sidebar being right here. And this is what I'm saying about how important it is to make sure your pictures look good. You want to experiment with your pictures, you know, something that's going to grab people, okay? But this, this is the sidebar. So this is how your ad will look on the sidebar. And then this is the sponsored stories review. And what that means is is that this is how your ad will look in the middle of someone's news feed line. And this is the news feed. This is what it will look like, okay? And again, you can label this. You can just put uh, book news feed, okay? And what, what also, what's also great about it is once somebody likes it, it shows up in the news feed as, hey, you know, Hannon Aslam, he liked Sue Ham's link. And again, like I said, I didn't uh, subscribe to UPS or anything like that. But because my two friends liked it, it showed up in my news feed. And here, here's how it looks. You know, Ernest uh, McRae, she liked it. And so here it is in my news feed. And so it is. It's showing you this is how your sponsored ad would look. Hopefully I have not confused you guys. You understand what I'm trying to say, but I really think it's imperative that you run the sidebar ad as well as the sponsored stories because the sponsored stories are really where it's at. Now, um, with this being the case, this is, a, uh, as we can see, it basically tells you how you set your ad up. Okay, Sue, you want to market to the United States, 25-year to 64-year-olds, people who like Forbes, Tony Robbins, Wall Street Journal, Think and Grow Rich. And you only want to bid 15 cents a day. So that means that for every person that clicks your ad, you're willing to spend 15 cents. And you don't want us to charge you more than a dollar a day. So I don't know how, how much does that equate to about, um, uh, what about seven, seven, eight clicks. I don't know. Someone do the math. Seven or eight clicks a day. But here's the great thing. The more people that actually click on your ad, Facebook realizes, okay, there's an interest in your advertisement. So what Facebook will do is they will charge you less. Even though you're bidding 15 cents per click for someone who clicks on your ad, if you're getting a bunch of interest, Facebook will charge you less. Like I've had ads where I've spent, I've said, okay, Facebook, I'll pay you 20 cents per click for everybody that clicks on this ad. But because I've had so many people clicking on it, I've only had to pay like seven cents. So it adds up when you're talking about a dollar, you know, a dollar a day and you're only paying seven cents and you're selling a product because you've got people on here selling products anywhere between $27 to uh, $10,000. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so if I'm selling a product for $2.99, which is very minimum, and I'm, I'm getting like five sales a day and I'm only paying like seven cents per click. I mean, you do the math. It's worth it. Where else can you go and get this type of advertisement? It's really dirt cheap. So anyways, all you would do now is you would place your order. And of course, Facebook has to approve the order. Uh, and if you look up here, it says your ad was created successfully. It will start running after it is approved, which can take up to 24 hours. Now, here's the thing with me. I've been running ads for a while, so it usually, Facebook usually comes back within uh, 20 minutes, sometimes a lot quicker than that, and approves my ad. But I just wanted to show you guys this is what it will look like. Now, because we'll, I'm going to delete this ad because I already have an ad up for my book, and we'll just work from that, okay? I just wanted to show you how to set up a Facebook ad. Okay, so hopefully you guys like that. I do want to say this, that with the Facebook marketing, 
there are two things that have changed. Uh, you can no longer, um, let's see, let's go to it here where it says create the ads. I think my connection is going a little slower. Anyhow, where, uh, where it says create the ads, there are two things that have changed and here, and that's the thing about Facebook. They are continuously changing. So it's like you can show somebody something, uh, how to do something in one month and then Facebook up and change the game a month later. And that's why it's important to uh, get with a mentor or get with someone who is up on the latest and the greatest so that they can instruct you. But one thing about the Facebook ads in that video, two things have changed. Do not select um, the sponsored stories. You don't have to select that. It's just a waste of time now. And and besides that, um, it will still show in the news feed. Okay, so you don't have to do that. And also, um, I think there were three options where it was like get people to like your page, promote a page post. And then the third option, well, you can no longer do the third option to promote your page posts anymore. So you have to do the second option. And that second option still allows you to put your ad in the newsfeed. So on the video, it told you to select the third option. I'm here to tell you that you need to select the second option now, and it still allows you to put your ad on the sidebar as well as on the uh, news feed. And this thing is moving really slow, so we're just gonna let it go. Maybe it'll come back up and I'll show you guys later. If not, um, just know that I did tell you that, okay? And we are about to wrap this up because um, I think it's been probably about an hour and a half now. So, just think I got one more, one or two more slides and then we we're going to wrap it up. I just wanted to end it off with the Dennis Kimbrell laws of wealth. You know, learning is important. You know, you need to make a decision. What do you want to do? You want to believe in yourself. You want to find your unique gift, serve someone at value, go into business for yourself and make your money grow. And I have to tell you, I am here for you. If you're ready, I am here to help you do just that. Now, what will my program offer? It's going to offer a variety of things. Um, even if at this point you stop the training, hopefully I have been of value to you. I've added service. I've given you some great tips and hopefully you can go out there and make your business a lot better. But if you want to go more in depth and in detail with me, I am here for you. I'm ready to show you how to market via Facebook, how to get your videos on Facebook, promote links that will drive customers to your business. I will show you how to get emails so that you can build relationships with your customers and hopefully sell products and services. I'm here to help you uh, better your video marketing. I'm here to help you uh, get on TV and radio, give you tips to use. Because once you become a published author, like I said, or once you establish yourself as an expert, um, it's easy to get on TV and radio. You just got to be persistent and know who to contact. I'm here to help you with internet marketing. Internet marketing is the wave of the century, people. It's not going anywhere. The internet is just getting bigger and better, bigger and better. And so is Facebook, okay? I'm here to help you with the book publication and copywriting your book, getting your book into libraries, setting up book signings, teaching you all of that stuff, um, showing you how uh, you can make money after you've written your book simply by becoming a speaker or, be, or, or, or doing a seminar. I'm here to help you rank on Google. I'm here to help you automate your social media posts. Some of you have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, all this stuff. Not only that, you're also in groups on Facebook. You're also in groups on LinkedIn. Well, I'm here to show you how to integrate all that stuff and automate it so that you're not sitting at your computer, your phone, your iPad all day long typing in posts. I want to show you how to set it up, how to schedule your day, how to distribute your posts, your motivational posts, how to distribute what you want to say about your products, how to schedule that stuff and how to send it to everybody at the push of a button. I send out posts probably seven, eight times a day. And I'm able to do that, send it out to like 34 different groups and social media uh, platforms with the push of one button. I don't have to go and log into every one of those things. And that's because I'm using a product called Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite, you can actually send, uh, send out to five social media platforms for free. And for the longest time, that's what I was doing. I was doing that for free. But now that I'm in so many Facebook groups and so many LinkedIn groups, I've decided that, okay, I need to upgrade. Well, you can upgrade for $10 a month and you can send it out to up to a hundred different, uh, 
social media. And right now I think mine is going out to 34 or 40 and I have more than that, but I only got 34, 40 designated. So just imagine being able to put your video or to put your quote or to put your product or your service or your motivational sayings or your message in front of all these people with one stroke of a button. And not only that, being able to pre-schedule it so that you can go about your day. Because see, that's one of the things about freedom. You're not tied down. I want to show you how to automate your business. Okay. I want to show you how to build relationships because that's the key. If you're not building relationships, if you're just trying to get out there and get people's money and leave them high and dry, it ain't going to work. Okay. You ain't going to last. So The key is building relationships. Now, when you join me, I'm going to give you access to training videos. And as you can see how my videos are here, this is how your training videos will be. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to have step-by-step instructions on how to do things. But more importantly, I think than anything, you will have access to a private inner circle forum where you will be able to ask your questions and they will get answered. Now, they will get answered by myself. They'll get answered by other group members. They will be able to contribute. And in this group, there will be no selling. There will be no pitching. This will simply be a group for learning. It is closed to the outside. It is only for individuals who are serious about learning, who are serious about developing themselves, who are serious about bettering themselves, who are serious about moving their business forward, who want to learn Facebook marketing, who wants to learn video marketing, who wants to learn online publishing. Listen, there are so many different ways to make money, so many different ways to do things, but what you don't know will hurt you. So don't let anybody tell you that it will not. I'm telling you that I am here and I am ready Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to add value and I want to be of service. I really want to see people live their dreams. You see, I know what it's like to want to do something, to want to go somewhere, to to want to, you know, be somebody. And you can't because you don't know where to start. You don't know how you're afraid. You, you, you lack resources. You're fearful. You lack self-esteem. You lack self-confidence. Well, I want to be that person, your cheerleader, but more importantly, your mentor that helps you that, that guiding light in the darkness that will take your hand and show you how to do things. I want to be able to show you a simple trick that will get you two to three different leads, which those leads could then turn into customers. I want to show you a simple trick of how you can do one thing and provide so much value and your name is all over the internet or your name is on the lips of people because you're being shown favor. These are things that I want to show you. These are things that are not in theory. These are things that I've I've experienced and you found me for a reason. Either it was through marketing, either it was through word of mouth, either it was through email. So we already know that it works. And these are things that I want to show you. Why am I doing this? I want to see people happy. I want to see them joyful. And I want to see you succeed and help others. Because my sincerest thing is that we all need to help each other. There's enough for everybody. Plenty, plenty. I believe in abundance. Now, it's all on you. I've given you the free training. I've given you a lot of great free tips. Matter of fact, one, I want to throw one more free tip in there. If you want to get your book into a library, you want to know how you do that? All you do is go to the library and say, I want to donate my book. That's right. Give them your book and they will put it in the library, in their library catalog, and then people can start checking out your book. Simple as that. Now, I'm giving you all these great tips and it's free. But imagine what you will get if you decide to work with me. Now I have a membership site and that site is only $67 a month. And that site gives you access to everything that we just talked about. Everything that I said that I would provide for you, you would get access. And this is paid on a monthly basis, $67 a month. So if you're with me for a month and you decide, okay, I've gotten everything I need. I don't need to be with Sue next month. Then okay. You don't have to be. You're not charged. You're not obligated. It's a month to month basis and we'll cover different topics every month. And at the end of the month, you get to keep the videos that I actually trained you on. You get to have access to those. It's yours to keep. But here's the great thing about if you continue to stay with me, you continue to get the updates because even though you may have past videos, like I said, things get outdated. Uh, technology changes so fast and you've got to stay on top of things. Um, so staying with me month after month after month, 
you get a lot more you get a lot more free stuff uh you get to again the biggest thing is you get to ask me questions you get to pick my brains you get to pull on the resources of the group the other group members and uh you get to constantly stay updated with information so like i said it's on you now i've given you the tools i've given you what i offer um if you're ready join me at suham.com or just go to the website become a published author today.com and, and like I said, you'll get access to all the Facebook marketing and everything. You'll get access to the Facebook inner uh, circle where it's a private group where we'll do the coaching and the one-on-one -on -one and we'll answer your questions and we'll, we'll get you going where you need to go. And if you feel like this has not been beneficial to you after you sign up, we'll refund your money. We have a 30 day uh, money uh, guarantee. So, I mean, all the rules, all the regs, everything that we offer can be found on suham.com. All you need to do is click the tab that says, um, uh, let Sue mentor you, or just go straight to the website, become a published author today.com, either one of those. And, um, that will show you what we have to offer. If I can actually pull that up, I'll show you right now. I'm just trying to hurry up and get you guys off this call. Okay, well, since this is coming up, I want to show you what I meant about uh, the Facebook ads real quick, if it will work with me. Okay, yeah, in the video, it said, see the advanced options. Well, that has now changed. And this is, this is one of the privileges you get with working with me because I will update videos in the inner circle group on Facebook. And again, you will have to have Facebook. That is one of the obligations. You will have to have Facebook if you want access to the inner circle group. If you don't want access to that, you just want access to the videos that are out there right now, then that's fine. Um, the only thing that you would get access to would be how to publish your book, how to do the Facebook marketing and, um, how to use Hootsuite and um, uh, uh, how to make your how to do other things to make money. So, as you can see, if we were to choose the third option C, advanced option C doesn't give you the, the option to select your post. So therefore, Facebook changed it. I don't know why. When you're doing ads now, you want to stick with the promoted post okay see that's 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 the last ad that's the last comment that posted on my facebook page uh would you love love to join me on my blog site blah 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 and if i wanted to go for different stuff that i posted i could go here and see how it pulls it up so uh so again you want to go to the promote page and where it says sponsored stories you want to uncheck it there's no need for that to be checked it's just a waste of time it doesn't help you so you want to go ahead and uncheck that okay so i just want to give you those two quick updates and now i want to run you to the website so that you can see what is offered okay and it's taking forever and a day uh but it is going to come up and like i said uh one of the first things uh one of the things that you will get you will get access to my website a private website that gives you a, a password and it will give you access to i think like about five videos um tells you how to do book signings and copywriting tells you um how to publish the fast pencil it tells you how to manage your social media through Hootsuite, plus some other great tips. It tells you how to do Facebook marketing and, well, Facebook ads. It doesn't really go deep into the detail with the Facebook marketing, like the video marketing and how you can do different things there, different tricks. Then it also tells you how to publish to Amazon Kindle. There's a video that shows you that. Okay. But, um, Here's the, here's the webpage. If you wanted to sign up, become a published author today. Uh, it tells you what you will learn. Lead generation, book publishing, marketing. You can watch that video. It goes more in detail. And then here it tells you in the modules what you will cover. And uh, at your leisure, you can feel free to go and look at that. Um, like I said, the biggest thing that I, I really love about it is that we got a 30 day money guarantee. It's only $67 and you get access to, um, 
the inner circle training on Facebook. And I definitely want you guys to take a part of that because I get a lot of you already asking me questions anyways. And so, um, I never really go into detail because I really don't have the time. If you show yourself worthy and worthy by meaning you're investing in yourself by uh, purchasing the $67 membership, then I will afford you the time and I'll answer your questions. Okay. Well, that has been it. Um, if you guys are looking to publish books, I hope to see you on fast pencil. I will be sending you my links. Um, if you're looking to do video marketing, I'm hoping to see your videos out there on Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, if you're looking to further your business and listen, uh, the stuff that I'm going to teach you about marketing, this is, can be used for brick and mortar stores and, and internet businesses. So got a lot of tips, man, got a lot of tricks. Um, and I'm, I'm willing and able to share it and I'm making it. I'm making it affordable because I really want to help, help you guys because I've been there. So I am going to sign off and I hope to see you in the inner circle. Uh, but, uh, you know, before I sign off in parting, I always have to remind you to live, learn, love, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. And remember, I am loving you to life. I will talk to you guys soon. Hey, go ahead and check out that website, suham.com anyways, and sign up to my fan page. Okay. And subscribe to the blog so you can get some great updates. You guys take care and thank you. I love you. <laughs> talk soon.